been falling for this. Snap your face! Here you go! Yeah! Here you go! Oh, Bye. Try and look cool. Um, wait. My best a action bit now more. is. Let's try and look cool. Here I come! Please prepare yourself! Please prepare um, yourself! Wait a little bit more. Ha! Here it goes! Yay! A major victory! Can it always be us? my turn? Jetbuster! Here you go! It's over! I need to calm myself! Here I come! Yay! Hey, I got one! Me? Point! There! Eh. Nice attack! I can take care of this! There! Take this! So easy! I need to calm myself! There! I got one! My turn! Be gone! Be gone! They were worthy opponents! Level up! Found an item! the whole world map by now. Think it's much farther? I'm so tired. But I'll keep trying my best. Cause it's all for Pico. I should have said so sooner, but I think we should have brought one of them along to show us the way. But Agnes is useless in a fight, and the rodent is still receiving treatment. So... Poppy Pace? No way, Jose. If that loud doofus were here with us, my ears would be like... Ee! Yeah, I'd rather not have him here. We have enough loud people as it is. Plus, we would really stand out if we brought such a massive robot along. But, but 
He's such a strong and cool giant robot who loves fighting, so battles might become easier. Not really. We did a rush job fixing him, so his outer hull is just paper mache. Huh? Really? Yeah, if I had to assign a defense parameter to him, it'd be like 200. That's so low. When we get back, maybe I'll tune him up real good. Don't be a fool. We don't know when he might flip out and go on another rampage world tour. Not a shred of tension here, huh? Is it always like this with them? <laughs> I think it's buckets of fun. What a carefree lot of freeloaders. Did you come here for a picnic? Who's there? Well, that's what the trope demands, I say, but come on. I think we already know. Kampa? Aya? Please get back. All right. I forgot about this guy. You had? How cruel, Lady Blonde. I said not to freaking call me that! Bonnie, you get mad so easily. Honestly, his timing couldn't be worse. Indeed. If those monsters appear, our hands will be tied. Of course, if we truly must, we can take the ruthless route. Rejected. That's not a very protagonist mindset. I don't want to do that either. As I expected, if any of us wanted to, we would have a long time ago. But then, what to do now? Worst case scenario, we send Plutia and the others ahead of us. The three of us are enough to hold them off. <laughs> don't get carried away, CPUs. What do you mean? I don't need my daughters to help me against the likes of you. I alone am more than enough for the task. The hell? Now who's getting carried away? You've lost to us like one gajillion times already. Uh-huh. One gajillion. I'm not the same as I was all those other times. Different training, different spirit, different ideals, different resolve. I'm different this time. I don't quite get his fixation on being different, but I will admit that he does seem quite spirited. Um, can we really trust him? Of course not! How many times are you all gonna let these people fool you? Even though you're the one who's been fooled like one gajillion times, Noir. Uh-huh. One gajillion! What? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm... well, it hasn't happened to me the most, right? Stop messing around. Whatever this human-shaped asshole is planning, we gotta beat down whatever pops up. We just said we can't do that! Blonde probably will not listen to reason at this point. The ideal path for us is to defeat him before he has the opportunity to pull any of his tricks. Got it. Just keep an eye on your surroundings. Ready? CPUs, in order to grow old with my daughters in peace, I will have you die right here! Uh-oh. This one looks strong. Why can it always be my turn? Oh! Here you go! Impertinent! Hey! Impertinent! Hey! We can go anytime! Yes! Oh! We can! Here I come! Weak! Weak! Impertinent! Impertinent! Hunt. Weak. Um, uh, what should I do? My special. Not bad. My turn. A regrettable end. Impertinent. Impertinent. <laughs> Prepare yourself, CPUs! More. Maybe I'm a tad angry! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. How is this? Not bad! Gentle force? Not bad! Not Show bad! My turn, then, face. Now I'm pissed! Time to go crazy! Processor unit, set complete! You! Weak! 
You! Not bad! Stay up! Weak! Let's see you get away from this! Uh, I'm taking it! Processor unit, set! I won't go easy on you! I'm serious now! Ball! Stay uh, out! Uh, uh, I'm tapping up for CQC! Impertinent! Finally! Time to get serious! I'll show you the power of a CPU! Ready, Nepgear? We'll end this together! Alright! I can do this! Weak! Nepgear! Finish this! Go! Not bad! I'll teach you a lesson! I'm sorry! You prepared? You! Uh, stay up! Impertinent! Take this! Schnee strong! Uh, May I begin? I heal you. I hurt you. It's my turn! I heal you again. Here Not I come! Back. Back. Not bad! Impertinent! Uh, impertinent! I'll finish this in one go. Impertinent! Say! Weak! Impertinent! Not yeah. bad! <laughs> Fine! Uh, there! Uh, there! Not bad! Uh, <laughs> impertinent! All in this! Take this! Take this! Uh, weak! Eat this! I uh, want the Neptune! I'll cut through everything with this! Impertinent! Uh, Impertinent! Now, what should I'll I... I'll finish this in one go. Uh, Eat this! Not bad! No. Uh, Eat this! Weak! Burn! Weak! Stay calm! Here weak. I come! How can this be? This is my... No! Our power! I couldn't win after all! He was quite the opponent. Yes. Thankfully, those monsters really didn't come out. <sighs> My time has come, has it? Looking back, it wasn't a bad life. Uh, we're not gonna whack ya. My only regret is leaving behind my daughters. CPUs, it is a selfish request, but please, hear me out. Consider it the dying wish of an old man. We just said that we aren't going to kill you. Yeah, I'll just play with you and torture you until you come real close. You are? <laughs> I said a funny joke. Nope, not laughing, pal. I can't even force it, Flutie. <laughs> Ignoring a dying man's last words. How heartless of you. You won't back down, will you? Listen! We have no intention of... <coughs> Yuck among us! They're here! <sighs> you planned to trick us all along, didn't you? Hmm. They look a bit different compared to the last time, though. No! I told you not to come out! If you were to fall into the CPU's hands, I... We're not gonna do anything! How many times do we have to say it? But if you keep saying it, maybe I'll wanna do it! Again, Flutia, that's not actually a joke that you're making! Oh! I see. You were that worried about me. I'm such a lucky father. They aren't trying to attack us. Oh, um, please, do not kill our dear father. We said we're not gonna. If you keep saying that stuff, even benevolent old me is gonna get angry. Uh, I, uh, I am sorry. 
Huh? Hang on. This kid. Uh, is something the matter? Huh? No way! It's totally speaking human, you guys! <laughs> Don't shout like that! Look, you frighten my daughters! But come on, man. Anyone would scream from something this insane. Um, were you all able to speak the whole time? No, we only recently became able to talk again. Father kindly taught us constantly. It is all thanks to him. No, oh, my dears. It's only possible because of your hard work. Well, it helps that we can communicate now, I guess. I'm sure you're being forced to listen to what this man says, but there's no reason to protect him. Forced? No, no. Of course you are, right? Brainwashing, drugs, you know. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe torture. Lydia, please don't say that with such a bright smile. We are not being forced. That is the truth. What kind of man do you take me for? Who would do such inhumane things? Is not their very existence an inhumane thing? That... Um... But... Our father is a nice man! He's very kind. Darlings. So, just throwing this out there, but maybe what's actually going on isn't what we thought? We need to ask for more details. In that case... Um, Mr. Bad? We're going to heal you a little. Leave the nursing to me! Oh, Kampa! And Ayaf! You're both here? Jeez, you told us to stay back and then completely forgot about us? Your memory sucks! Th that's not what happened! It was just a very frantic moment and... Um, well... Oh yeah! You two are here. I did forget. Lady Plutia! Blue, Blue, you're a meanie. Uh, if you're going to heal me, uh, could you please get on with it? Ah, I am now sensible enough to conduct more business. Please don't move around too much just yet. We have a lot of questions to ask. Oh, an all-caps dialogue is annoying to read, so we're going to use normal text from here on out. Well, we'll try to answer anything you ask. It's hard to do this if you're so nervous. Sorry, you've been our father's enemy for a long time, Isa. Boo! We didn't do anything bad. It cannot be helped, I suppose. For now, please confirm this. You were kidnapped by the Seven Sages and then forced to use a CPU memory, turning you into monsters, correct? Yes, that's right! We were almost kidnapped too, so it's not like I can pretend this is someone else's problem. And yet, you love this man and call him your father. I don't get why. Um, well, there are about 20 of us. That many? Oh, sorry! You don't have to apologize. Hey! Don't harass my children! Sister, 20 isn't very precise. They're upset because you didn't give them the exact number. Oh, you're right. There are 22 of us. I wasn't mad about the number. I mean, I wasn't mad to begin with. Okay, nobody cares, Noir. The conversation can't continue. Ignore her and continue. So, um, we were orphans, or poor, or were seen as unpleasant by our old families. Were you targeting specific types of children? <laughs> we weren't seeking ransoms. We wanted to avoid any undue attention. And your ultimate goal was to make a CPU that would follow your commands, correct? Yes, that is correct. Um, the more I think about it, the more I think I feel so disgusted by it. Not now, Plutie. Suppress it. 
even though he mutated you into that form for his own ends, you don't hate him? At first we did, very much so. We were already unfortunate kids, and then we turned into this. But then our father showed us that he wanted to take good care of us, like we were his real daughters. My wife passed away when I was young. I've lived a long life without any children of my own. It was only natural that parental feelings would surface after coming across such pleasant daughters. Are you sure you don't have some kind of really creepy fetish, Captain Comover? A fetish? How rude! Appearance means nothing! It's the heart! It's all a matter of the heart! He cooked us yummy food and gave us gifts on our birthdays! We were able to experience everyday joys! He also bathed us and would even sleep in our beds with us. Okay, yeah. Fetish. It is not! Give it a rest! So after being treated with such kindness, you naturally came to love him back. Even so, I don't really agree with any of this. Yeah! He could have done all that nice stuff when they were like normal people. Lady Plutia, please calm down. I beg of you, don't get angry. Blue Plu, you should really stop. If he's about to cry. It is as you say. My actions are wholly inexcusable. Over time, my daughters learn to smile again. But I still see on their faces how they yearn to be human. That's... Forgiveness won't come just because you feel remorse. Punishment must be doled out in full. Can I? No, 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 no! Stay strong, Iffy. Pull yourself together. Please wait! Father is doing his best to find a way to get us back to normal. Here I... Huh? Is that true? Yes. He said we will never be able to know true happiness in these forms. Little by little, it's happening. See? We can talk now. That must explain the change in your appearances as well. And lately, he has forbidden us from fighting anyone. And... and... Okay. I think we get it now. I can never atone for my deeds. But that is what I was going to ask of you before you end my life. I was going to ask if you could continue my research and turn them back to normal. What a convenient idea. Maybe you shouldn't have screwed them up in the first place. I have nothing to counter with. So please, we're begging you. Don't kill our father. Please don't. We beg of you. They're still going on about that. That's the deal, so what do we do, Plutie? Um... Uh... Uh, no, no, no! Um... Hokey dokey. We'll leave the old man alone for now. You will? Oh, awesome! Thank goodness! You're going to look the other way for me? Like the very first thing we said was that we weren't going to kill you. Jeez. All of you kids, go to Last Station's Basilicom. I'll send word that you're coming. Last Station? Why? You won't make much progress with a single researcher. It can't be helped, so we'll cooperate with you. Is that all right? I just said it can't be helped. My nation is the most advanced in terms of technology and research. I can't let that slide. In terms of CPU data, my nation knows more than any other. Then my nation shall provide the necessary financial backing. Cool, then Planetunal, uh, wait, can we do anything? D don't look at me. If you need a nurse, I can do that. I can make adorable stuffed animals that Every little girl will want. Everyone, thank you. I owe you everything. We're not doing this for you. It's for the kids. Don't get the wrong idea. <gasps> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> B 
think nothing of it. This turned into a side quest of sorts, but it wraps up that arc nicely. Yep, all we gotta do now is get Pico back.
Much longer now. Uh huh. I'm sure she's close. Yep, I can feel her and smell her. Say something normal like you can sense her presence. I'm so happy we'll get to see P again soon. We can't say she'll feel the same. Oh, Neptune! Over there! <laughs> There's Pico! Don't run up to her so carelessly! But it's Pico! Her posture is a bit different. Maybe they intensified their hold on her mind after we almost got her to remember us last time. Pico! Yo! Pico! At least respond to us. It's me! Kampa! <sighs> Aww. If you won't listen to us, then... Maybe I'll have you recognize us through more physical means. No! She's here! Effie, please get used to her already. This blue blue is cute too, once you let her into your heart. No, 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 no! That's impossible! You transformed without permission yet again. But I got so worked up that I simply couldn't hold back anymore. After all, Pico, you want to go up against me in this form, don't you? <sighs> Seriously? She's not even reacting to Sadie? Such confidence. Or maybe you're underestimating me. Oh no, her voice just got lower. I think she's very, very angry. <laughs> Do you think she's... Hey, I said not to get too close! <sighs> I knew it! Hmm? What did you know? That she's asleep. <sighs> Oh, it's sleepy time? She's gone beyond anger and all other emotions. Wow, you got all that from her laugh? You mastered the Sadie's handmaiden ability. Thank you, I think. But I really don't need an ability like that at the moment. Why are you sleeping? Wake up already! Huh? Oh. <sighs> the CPUs? What a carefree response. It is unbecoming of a villain to be asleep during such an exciting scene. <sighs> Don't fall asleep again as soon as we start talking to you! <sighs> but I'm sleepy. <sighs> 
We'll have to wake her up using a different approach. <laughs> I haven't laughed like this in ages. Hmm. <laughs> she, you put me in such a good mood. Neptunior, deduce Pluty's mood now. I don't know. It's uncharted territory from here on out. Oh, that's right. I gotta go beat up the wicked CPUs. We're the ones who came here to you. Ugh! <sighs> Even Noir's run out of juice over this. You sure keep things crazy, Pico. Pico? Nope, I'm Yellowheart. We already did this song and dance the last time. Aw, oh, P, did you really forget us? Iffy, you should say something too. Yes, ma'am. Pishi, we were always hanging out when we were kids. Huh? I don't know. Neptune, you said you had some kind of plan to restore her memories, yes? Uh, sorta, kinda, yeah, no. But first, we gotta go about this the expected way. Meaning, we must fight her and weaken her, so my brilliant plan will be more effective. Ooh, Neppy is being extreme. Don't you all want to transform? I've been itching to get started for a while now. Ah! Wait just a sec! Damn it! Even when she's a sleepy idiot, she's probably strong as hell. That pisses me off. Yes. I feel the same... No. Even more power coming from her than the first time we met. That creepy robot said he wouldn't make any more of those machines. He lied right to our faces. Add one more to how many times you've been tricked, Noir. But that time it wasn't just me. <laughs> You're all so energetic. How about you, Neppy Jr.? Y yes I'm very full of energy. I know she's strong, but we can't afford to lose now. Do your best, Nep Nep. Please get Pee Pee back to normal. That's not my name. I'm Yellowheart. D do your best too, Lady Plutia. Leave it to me, Compa. <laughs> Iffy, your voice quivers. It makes me want to play with you a little bit more. <laughs> Sadie, play with Iffy later. Of course, she can be my dessert. But for now, I need to clean my plate of the main course. None of you are listening to me! I'm mad now! I'm gonna beat you up! I will win, and I'll get you back to the way you were, Pico. I can't believe you've forgotten me. Who was so kind to you. For such a naughty little girl, I'll have to dole out a most violent punishment. I'm gonna get serious on you. I'll finish this in one go. There! Say! I've got you! Eat this! You're wide open! Stay calm! Defensive cheer! <laughs> Finally! For your punishment to enjoy this, you need to be a masochist. Let me drink and I'll make you wait. I'm ready anytime. Go too! 
What shall I do to you? How's this? There. <laughs> Show me. I'm ready any time. Take this! Get a Rabine! I'll finish this in one go. Time to win! Watch me, Neptune! Here I come! Fall! You prepared? Day up! Take this! Take this! Freeze! May I begin? I hear you. I hurt you. I hear you again. That's the test. My turn. There. Eat this. Eat this. Say, I'll break Watch you. Me, Neptune. Let's go, Bert. Yes. Let us sisters work together here. We will finish this off together. Yes. The finale. What shall I do to you? I heal you. I hurt you. I'll end this. I heal you again. That's the pattern. Take this! Get a Rabine! It's my turn. I've got you. There! Say! Eat this! I dive into range. Got you. May I begin? <laughs> How's this? Gentle form. <laughs> Show me. Watch me, Neptune. Face. Let's go, Bert. Yes. Let us sisters work together here. We will finish this off together. Yes. The finale! I'll end this! Day up! Take this! Come on! Let's see you get away from this! It's my turn! You're so bold, nothing. Ha! Come, Pluty. Together, we'll end this. <laughs> is this enough? This is just an attack animation, right? It's my turn! What shall I do to you? Uh, no more. <laughs> you are pretty cute. Ah! Owie! I'm lost! We did it! We won! Of course we did! This cheating CPU ain't no match for us, damn it! Oh, I feel funny. My strength is going bye-bye. Hmm, strange. I thought her power would be limitless if she were still utilizing that type of machine. Perhaps it malfunctioned. Either way, it works out for us. Aw, this won't do. If she turns into her small form, I won't be allowed to torment her. Restrain yourself a tiny bit. Oh, golly. 
Looks like the rush job I did on this device wasn't good enough. Well, if I wanted to sound tough, I should say I factored in this outcome as well. W what happened? Did she lose? Hush a moment, dearie. This is the good part. This is where we get to see if they're going to activate the so-called true ending route. Ugh! I can't do it! Aw, I'm small again! It's P! She looks the same as she did the last time we saw her! Right, her growth stopped at that age because she turned into a CPU. You're wrong! Don't call me P! I'm not Pishi! But you are P! You're Pishi! P is P, but I'm not Pishi! What in the world does that mean? It's useless, you two. She was like this the last time. Then what should we do? We came prepared for this. You two will be my little helpers. So get ready. Yes, ma'am! I was never told about this. What do you plan to do? Well... Just glue your eyes open and watch. Right, Clutie? Uh-huh. Blah! I can't get big. Are Mommy and Daddy gonna be angry? Listen up and listen down, Pico. You're Pico. Pico, you got that? No matter what anyone says. Maybe you should use her actual name in this situation. It's cool, trust me. Pico is Pico. P is Pico? Nuh-uh, I'm Yellowheart. Pishi, you lived with all of us. Me, and Nappy, and Nappy Jr., and Iffy, and Kompa. Oh, oh, and Isti. She's watching over our home right now. Nep, Iffy, Kompa? No, I don't know you. I've always been with Mommy and Daddy. Before them, you were always with us. We lived in Planetoon's Basilicum together, remember? Please remember me. I don't know any of it. Neptune, a straightforward approach does not seem feasible. Yeah, I know. I figured she'd play dumb for at least this long. Now we use this thingy, the five-piece set of memories about Pico's time with us that Plutie and I made. It's a big set. <laughs> Five items? You prepared quite a bit for this. Number one. Here, Kampa. What's this? So, you hold this, and then you chase Pishi around with it. I, is this my novelty size syringe? No, I can't! It's bad and dangerous to point it at unsick people. Ugh! Time for shots! You did it like it was second nature back in the day. Do it! It's for Pishi's sake. Oh, well, if it's for her, then... I'm gonna chase you, P! No! No! No shots! Stop running away! <laughs> her mind has forgotten, but her body remembers. It knows the pain of Kampa's giant syringe well. You're pretty terrible. Next up, um, it's Iffy's turn. Okay. What do I have to do? Take this book-like object and use your mouth to make its contents into sounds. What is this, a sketchbook? Uh, my right hand can split the galaxy in two when filled with Gaia's might. Wait, this is... Yep, that's part of the story you and Pico made up together. Gaia, maybe I know what that is. Nice. She responded to that! Hurry! Hurry! Read more! No way! I can't do this! 
How long ago do you think I wrote this nonsense? Please? It's for Pishi! Do your best, Ify! Ugh, fine. I shall use the fallen angel's wings to whirl up the winds of unholy war. Whoa, neat! That sounds so cool! Forced to read your embarrassing past in front of everyone. What a painful sight to behold. Yeah. Hmm. Why is your face getting red? Wait, you got some embarrassing secret like that too? No, I don't. I mean, I haven't come up with a story of my own similar to that or anything. I, I mean it. So far, so good. Take it away, Neptunior. Oh, okay. Um, what did you bring for me? Neppy Jr., you get nothing. What? Nothing at all? If you looked harder, I'm sure you could have found something. Oh, this makes me think of something. Um, getting the shaft. Is that it? That? You're having her react to how badly I've been getting treated? learning more of those dumb things. Oh, the goodness, I don't want to do this anymore. Finally, time for the prestige. Me. Look at this, Pico. Your favorite. I even warmed it up in my pocket. Huh? Oh, it's pudding. I highly doubt lukewarm pudding is favored by anyone. And this is no ordinary pudding. Look, I even have neps scrawled right on the top. You always made a ruckus unless you got to eat the one that had my name on it. Neptuna's pudding? What? Ugh, my head hurts! Pee! Uh... Is this according to plan? Perhaps her memories are trying to resurface, or... What are you gonna do? Keep going? You bet! I believe in Pico! Bring it home, Plutie! Okie dokie! Look at this, Pishi! Um, a stuffed animal? Is that mine? Yep! And it's all yours! I made this one for you! You would always rip it apart. And I fixed it. So many times. I destroyed it. And you fixed it? You left it behind when you went away. But I still fixed it up. Because... I thought I'd give it back to you when I saw you again. My stuffed animal! You fixed it, Blue? Pishi? You said my nickname! Do you remember? Ugh. Ugh. That's still not enough! We're almost there! This one's gonna be the final blow! I won't let you say you forgot about this rad picture! Ugh. Huh? I drew that? With your own grubby mitts, you used your best drawing skills to draw all of us together. See? We're all on here! Everyone who lived with you in Planetune's Basilicom! I drew this? Everyone's there! Yeah! I drew everyone! Flute, and Nepgear, and Hippie, and Kampa, and Histoire, and... Pishi! Pee! Pishi! Say my name, Pico. Come on, lay it on me. You were really happy, and you gave me lots of praise. When I showed you that drawing, you were really happy, Neptuna. Yeah, that's me, Neptuna! What's wrong? Are you okay, Pico? Crap, did I muck it up? Ugh, 
Take this, Neptuna! Oh! It, it's been a while since my solar plexus last suffered your intense headbutt, Pico. Neptuna! It's you! It's really Neptuna! <laughs> so you remember now? What? You headbutt people when you get all happy? <laughs> what a goofus. Because of you, idiot. Jeez, we went through so much extra trouble for you. It's P! I finally get to be reunited with P! What? Now everyone's crying! Uh, I'm not crying! Um, welcome back, Pishi. Welcome back, Pico. <laughs> welcome back!